Hi, and welcome to our trailer for our seminar, Automation and Visualization of Laboratory Processes and Data. My name is Elisabeth von der Esch, and I will be presenting this course for chemistry master's students at Technical University of Munich. If you have always asked yourself how you can work more efficiently in the laboratory and maybe also automate repetitive tasks, then this is the right seminar for you. Our goal is to enable chemists to design and automate their own experiments. Since this course was given the first time during the corona pandemic, the entire course can be done remotely. So we created an online seminar where no programming skills are required. This is a 12-week program with five hours workload per week. The learning is mostly project-based and we have teamwork assignments. The two major teamwork assignments are chemometrics projects and robotics projects. The chemometrics projects are about solving chemical problems with computational methods. The robotics projects are about creating laboratory robots that make your life in the lab easier. In all of this, we strive to create a learning environment where creativity is encouraged and rewarded. And we do this by using two features. The first is that we provide instructional videos specific to student ideas. So if our students have something that they would like to learn, we react on that and we help them learn that. The other thing that we use is the gallery of awesome. If our students put in extra work or make something that we think is special, we will feature this work in the gallery of awesome so that all students can benefit. So first, we all have to learn the basics. So we teach the basics of programming by using um, our Moodle page to structure all of um, the resources for a lesson. And a lesson always has videos that instruct the students on how to fill out the interactive part of the lesson, which is the Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebooks are basically a coding environment where you can easily learn how to program in Python. So this is what one of the tasks looks like. So students get basically these instructions and then with the video that we provide, they are able to solve the task. And this is what one of the solved tasks look like. Here, they should only plot a spiral. But of course, since our students are very creative and motivated, sometimes they also create very, very awesome plots. And we also want to show them to the other students so that they can get inspired and so that they can also profit if another student has put in extra effort into the lesson. This is why we created the Gallery of Awesome. The second part of our course are the Chemometrics projects. Since students now know how to program, they can handle their own project. So we give them the choice of 10 different projects which are based on real research problems that we have encountered during our research at the Institute of Hydrochemistry. So the projects range from theory of sampling to structure and some formula puzzles and what I'm going to show you today is the image analysis problem that our students solve. So this is what they get from us. So this is already a Jupyter notebook with some structure and tasks. As you can see, there is a lot of blue commentary and very little black code, and they have to augment these Jupyter notebooks by um, doing literature research and also by just trying out different algorithms. And the key here is that they use the real research data that we can see below. So this is a fluorescence microscopy image, and the task is to count the blue particles. And after the students have solved the Jupyter notebook, as you can see, 102 blue contours have been found and the contours have been visualized in the image as well. After the Jupyter notebook is done, students are asked to provide videos of how to solve the Jupyter notebook so that their classmates can then easily follow the videos and learn about the different uh, chemometrics projects without having to do everything by themselves. The robotics projects are um, even more creative than the projects than we saw before because 
students are the initiators for these projects. Since master's students have already spent considerable time in the lab, they know which kind of robots they desperately need. So we asked them what kind of robots they would like to have in their own laboratory and asked them to make sort of a concept video. And these concept videos were then used by us to sort of identify what kind of tips the students would need to build their own laboratory robots afterwards. So based on their ideas, we built little parts of robots, like maybe a robotic arm or made a design for a peristaltic pump. And these could be used by the students to then create their own laboratory robots. For this, we also gave them the EV3 Lego kits and they could also ask for additional 3D printed parts um, of their own design if they wanted to use those to make more elaborate robots. After building the robots, students had to document their entire building process and also make videos on their robots, on how they work and how they were built. I would like to thank you for watching this trailer and if you want to learn more on the Chemometrics projects, we have a separate video on this. And if you're very curious what kind of robots our students built, you can also watch the summary for the robotics projects. Um, I can already tell you that our students created nine unique laboratory robots and we are especially proud that they managed to do that um, off-site. This course uh, was developed by Alexander Kohles. Beatrice von der Esch, Natalia Ivleva, Martin Elsner and myself, Elisabeth von der Esch. And we had help from Mike Kramler and Miriam Voss from the TUMLAB im Deutschen Museum. And this course was funded by the Fonds der Chemischen Industrie and the Technical University of Munich. Thank you for watching.